What's up guys, welcome to your 37th Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to use our time class to convert time to a regular string instead of military time since you know not everyone uses military time some people just use normal time like um, 1 30 p.m. so let's just go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how to do that so we first need to make another method and I'm going to name mine public but I'm going to spell it right eventually there we go right there you got it buddy public string and let's just name it to string since this is just a normal string you can name it like to normal or something if you want but you know what I don't so I'm gonna name mine to string and now we got a new method built and what we want to do here is just return a basic formatting string so let's go ahead and return string just like last time move my cursor out of the way format why am I not typing it right today? And now, once we do that, it's going to let us format the string how we want it. So, the first thing that we need to do is... Let me make sure I don't got anything messed up. String format. Looks good. First thing we need to do is give the format we want to put our time in. So, for the first one, for the hour, we just want percent %d. For the uh, minute, we want percent %02d. So, percent zero two D and this is because the minute always has two decimal places for the second it's the same one percent o two D or zero two D excuse me and for the AM or PM we just want a string since it's just letters so now for the hour we need to do something weird we need to check if it's zero or twelve then put twelve if not then put the well you'll see what we do so in here go ahead and in your uh well just do as I type if hour is exactly equal to zero or if hour is exactly equal to 12 then what do we want to do well let's just go ahead and put 12 for that if not else if it isn't then just go ahead and put hour modulus 12 let me go slide this over a little bit maybe that will be easier for you guys so what we're doing here is saying alright if that if they put zero or 12 for the hour then go ahead and put 12. If they put anything else, then divide it by 12 and give our remainder. So if it's 13, put 1. If it's 8, put 8. If it's 14, put 2. Simple enough. The, the other ones are uh, a lot easier, I promise. For minute, we just need to go ahead and type minute, since we don't need to do anything special with that. Second, just go ahead and type second, since minutes and seconds don't have AM or PM, only um, hours do. So now it brings us to my last point. We need to check whether it's AM or PM they're talking about. And there we go, right there. So, how do we check if it's AM or PM? Well, we need to test the hour, first of all. And if hour is less than 12, then what do we want to do? We want to go ahead and insert AM. Else, if it's not, let's go ahead and insert PM. So, that's how we check for AM or PM right there. So, now we got our basic to string and we got a little error right there and I forgot parentheses somewhere right here I'll find it I promise I will I think I did oh, crap this darn screen recorder is in the way uh, let me pause this off here we go this was the one I forgot right here again when you're doing your hour make sure this one's enclosed right here and make sure the entire thing is enclosed right there but anyways hopefully I don't have any more errors now that we got our basic string to string method built we can go ahead and call it in our main function so let's just go ahead and right here we call the military one and we can go ahead and copy this and we're not going to use it again I'm just too lazy to type to string so the first one's going to call the military time and the second one's going to call the string one that we just built and by default this is 0 and by default this is 12 and if you're saying alright why isn't this 0 and why is it 12 well I'll show you right here and right here where we put if hour is 0 or 12 then put 12 and it was 0 so it put 12 since when you're looking at regular time uh, there's only 12 o'clock and then it goes right to 1 o'clock there is no um, 0 o'clock I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but uh, 
yeah jot that in your notebooks there's actually no zero o'clock so now let's go ahead and quit messing around this crap and do what we came here for we want to be able to set the time so let's go ahead and put tuna actually we probably want to put tuna object and let's go ahead and use our set time function and we want to enter enter three parameters the hour and we'll go ahead and change that to 13 which should be one o'clock in regular time and then for minutes we'll put like 27 and then for seconds we'll put like six or something then go ahead and add a colon and now we can go ahead and output these two again and why type them again if you can just copy and paste them the lazy way that's right that's what I'm talking about and now let's just go ahead and um well let's just go ahead and output it simple as that so here's what we got here's our def defaults that we got from last time before we set the time and then we set the time in military time it was 13 o'clock I don't even 1300 hours 27 six seconds in regular time it is one o'clock or 127 and six seconds p.m. so that is how you use here let me recap this one more time what we did is we pretty much just outputted the defaults on the screen then we went ahead and called set time passing the parameters 13 27 and 6 so it th took 13 hours and converted it to hours uh... What was the next one 27 and stored it for minutes and 6 and stored it for seconds it outputted that in our military format and then it outputted that in our regular string format so that is your basics of your time class right there and make sure that you uh, copy all this and follow along with me because in the next tutorials I'm going to be teaching you uh, new stuff not about time but we're going to be using uh, this code right here so make sure you copy all this and make sure your programs are working and if they aren't then leave a comment on this video and I'll try to answer it for you so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe I hope you learned a little something but not too much and I will see you next time